Welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. Single mothers at a slum on the eastern outskirts of Harare are finding it difficult to secure decent and affordable housing. Jeff Primoyo reports. Vulnerable and disadvantaged mothers staying at a slum at Caledonia Farm on the outskirts of Harare are facing discrimination and numerous challenges when it comes to finding safe, decent and affordable housing. The poor mothers at the slum said they are living under squalid and inhuman conditions. Poverty is a huge handicap for them. Women's Day celebrations held recently put a spotlight on their plight calling for greater commitment from government and donors in supporting policies and action plans for the provision of decent and affordable housing to poor mothers. Most single mothers face challenges of managing families on their own but are often overwhelmed by discrimination poverty and other social factors when it comes to finding decent and affordable housing. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. Touched by the plight of abundant and orphaned children, four Harare women have teamed up to set up a children's home. Our reporter Crispin Tavura reports. Four Harare women have founded a home for abandoned and orphaned children after being touched by the plight of children in the city. The Waterfalls Party teamed up and mobilized the resources to establish the Living Memory Children's Home, which is likely to bring relief to many abandoned children. The women from the United Methodist Church are upbeat about their project. We want to get the children who are disadvantaged in the sense that they have, maybe their parents have died due to HIV and AIDS, some are just abandoned because the, of the economic situation. Some parents are unable to look after their children. They just abandon children. We find them, you know, left at uh, bus terminuses or in town even. So we're thinking that, you know, by bringing these children here, we can afford them a decent livelihood. We hope and we, we, we still believe that the community around us will come through and help us in this noble cause. Um, we have managed to raise funds in the past two years. We have managed to rent out this um, house from. Uh, we were raising funds from our own pockets. Uh, we are going to start with uh, 20 children. But since Chiri society in a in a matam putsi kwaka wanda tinga limite, uya tinga see mwana chikara panzi pamsaka pekuti accommodation y dinu kwansak tanga ne wana twint. The Methodist women are optimistic about their charitable work. Tine zinu zata mbota or kutiz with magumbeze, mi beda ito ripo, stove ye kubi kira chayu i ripo, nema poto nema predjese jiripo, chiri chikaf chaiju. 
tinogona kuunganidza semadzi mai zvinongo ita sekunge washikirwa one muye ni pamba pako we've also had some well wishers who've come through in cash and kind we've got beds we've got uh kitchenware we've got linen we've got um uh, blankets and all sorts of uh donations which has come through from different uh people out there we are appealing out there to the people who are watching this program kana vane zvavanokwanisa kubatsira nazvo kana vane zvavanokwanisa kutiitira vati batsire so that vana pavanosvika vanzwe vari welcome vosvika pamba vachi kwete kuti kwavabva kwachiona vona kwakaomarara vosvika pano vona futi pakaomarara tuda kuedza kuti vachengetedze panzvimbo yavane yatsonzwa kudzirwa nekugutsikana vese vanongona vana vakarasiswa vakarasika takato vatarisira takavamirira tiri ipo pakubatsira nyika simadzimai the rising number of abandoned and vulnerable children in Zimbabwe has created an urgent need to create innovative ways to promote social protection systems. Gone are the days for waiting for foreigners to build charitable institutions. And efforts such as this one by the Methodist women could impact children's lives and become a guiding foundation to ensure vulnerable children would mature and develop into good, caring, disciplined and productive individuals. Reporting for ATV, I'm Kristen Tabura in Harare, Zimbabwe. Business for flower vendors in Harare used to be brisk and profitable. Now things have changed. Jeffrey Moyo gives us more. The flower vending business in Harare has been swept up in a new wave of lethal competition which has eroded profit margins for the street flower sellers. Sales have dropped and vendors are engaged in a race to the bottom. Erufu muna anga chichema wakuti anusika upa kutenga ruwa rimechete kana maruwa mairi kana maruwa matatu. Ende wano erufu wano wakuti kana shitenga maruwa wanengu wajichema shukuti mtenga wano tenga na mtenga katikira. Right now the business is down but is at least we are, we are coping, we are surviving, we are managing to survive. Nenye wakuti maruwa ariku utura kufakuma farms. E, ne mtenga tu mtenga na ayo, ne mtenga nyo doso tenga sera wano. 2012 has been one of the worst years for Nyarai Mahachi and she blames unlicensed vendors operating from homes for stealing their business. Simbarashe Mamanzi, a vendor at Africa Unit Square, put blame on erratic flower supply and the proliferation of many florist shops in the city. For my challenge is that I used to do like my flowers here. My farmers are in your tree mirror maru now. I shall see, I shall need. So I should be taking a man, they should take a Sarah to show my wow. I was going to meet a demand. My flowers are already on. A competitive war is raging. Take the roses, once a symbol of the special occasion. Roses can now be bought for as low as ten dollars. Tough skirmishes among flower vendors are now common. With the high unemployment in the country, the flower sellers have little or no option but to remain in this trick and ruthless competitive industry. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.